Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go. Alive. I'm alive. Uh, it's uh, Thursday. And we're doing this thing. Live of Five, released in the next few days. I, uh, I got a call yesterday from my job and they told me that they're opening the business so I'm gonna be going back to work I'm still gonna be in the basement though but that's gonna be on Tuesday so now I have to psych myself up for it I haven't been going out at all and now that's what I'm doing I'm psyching myself up getting ready to to get psyched in dial oh, oh. What the? Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up? Freddy, Freddy, how are you? Been good. Are you uh, live on the program right now? Yeah, live at five. We're here on the program. Um, they. They they called me. My work called me, Freddie. Who? Oh, your work? What they're, did they say? They're opening. Oh, when are they opening? On Tuesday. Oh my God. Yeah. So. Looks like. Tuesday. It's over. Huh? It's over. The pandemic's over. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. I'm I, I don't, I'm going there. Um. And, oh, uh-oh, this thing is getting weird. And it's, uh, it's going to be scary. I'm, I'm pretty scared, but I don't have a, another choice, really, I think, because uh, they, once they offer you back to work, you can't get an appointment, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go back. I'm going back to work on, on Tuesday. I'm going to leave the house, and I haven't left the house in a long time, and I'm going to be doing it. I'm scared. Wow. It's, it's uh, putting me on the edge, but that's what I'm dealing with in my life, so. You're like, not, yeah, I don't know if everyone else has been taking it as seriously as you, and now they're making you go back to work. Yeah. And I'm very scared. Uh, you know, a lot of people are taking it as like a morality, a morality play. I know that my job, they're basically not reopening because um, because they think that if they reopen, then people are going to go and get coffee when they maybe shouldn't be getting coffee. Oh, yeah. I don't think that it, I, don't, I don't think people should be eating out, maybe. Yeah. At all. And I'm going to be support, helping people eat out, I guess. It's like, why are you eating out at all? Why are you even going anywhere? I'm, I'm, I haven't gone outside. I'm not even going outside. But now, that's going to be on Tuesday. I'm going to go outside. And then um, I have to uh, acclimate myself to being outside, you know, a little bit. Yeah. Because right now, I'm like... I haven't been out in so long that I, I've, I knew this was going to happen, but I'm like extreme fear of out in the outdoors in general. Yeah. It's just like not even... Is the bus even running yet? Like No, the, the bus is not running. I'm not running the bus. I'm, I'm just going to be right there. I'm going to ride my bike. It's down the street. I guess uh, that's pretty safe. And I'm leaving stuff you here. You even like stay off the main street. Just cause you're, Luckily, you're pretty close, but what do they expect people to do who don't have transportation and don't... And like now the bus is on like some kind of weird dial lift schedule thing. Yeah, if I if I didn't live close to my place, I could, you could claim not no transportation as a unemployment reason. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, it's um, uh, it's pretty crazy though. But maybe it's good for me to I get out of the house. 
I don't know. You're gonna be okay. You'll be safe. But it's like this is just every. There's a lot of. It's funny to see the different um, ideologies about this like clashing so heavily right off the bat. Like I think every other day, my dad sends me some new thing in the email about getting America back to work and like how this is like a big mess and the economy, all that. He values the economy a lot. Oh it's yeah. Also like. You know, and then there's businesses where they're getting back. We want to get back to work. And then there's businesses who are like, I don't know. Like, you know, it's funny that inner city transit, which is incredibly essential in a way, is like not uh, not on regular operating procedures. It almost seems like that would be a good indication to other people, um, you know, what to do. I guess people were riding the bus uh Oh, Will Nilly. Yeah. So, that's why they're not doing it now. That's why they shut the bus down. So people just getting on the bus. They didn't need to go somewhere maybe specific. It's like, oh, I just like want something to do. I'm bored. I ride the bus. Yeah, and that's what I I used to do that. Yeah. And now I'm not doing that. I, um. But so I'm gonna be going into the world. They've been doing that. Other people have been going in the world. I guess like, you know, McDonald's or whatever. They've been open the whole time. And grocery stores. I haven't even gone to grocery stores. But now I'm going. So that's something. Uh, what, are I'm the feeling... sandwiches, what are the sandwich places? Are they doing anything to, to, to remain? Like, obviously, it's still only takeout. Yeah, nobody. But... It's going to be like old school. Like, just like a window. Like, mm. handing stuff out a window. But, um. So you mean exposure... Personally, it's just going to be to your coworkers. Yeah. And you, what people, you know, the people who've been working at old school, right? Is that the old yeah, school? Uh huh. Workers are still going there. You know, you know them. You talk to them about it. Well, that was my old housemates, and I don't live with them anymore, so I haven't seen them since we moved. Mm-hmm. But, um. Yeah, they're still going. I mean, I even got pizza one day that they were both working. Um. We ordered a big pizza, and it was, you know, definitely the like the worrisome part was the people who were waiting for pizza, not the co the, the employees. They seemed like incredibly well protected from people. It was like no touch going around, and like they're only accepting card payments. And so they like have the little thing they slide out. You put your card in it, and then you go away, and you don't even touch their card. Like uh. Seems it seems like they're doing a good job of staying protected. I can kind of see why they're open, not because maybe pizza is like the most important food. Well, I actually, you know, I probably have said before in my life that it is the most important food. But yeah, so it'll probably be relatively safe. But like anything other than just like never leaving the house at all, 100% is scary to me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know when I could have ever ever done it though so I'm, I'm doing it i feel like i feel i'm feeling more like a little bit forced people are saying like you know, do you gotta think about it and maybe in a different way i've seen this way and i think it's um a really good way to think about it it's where you think about how you are protecting other people by staying inside you know and i think um in that case it's not one of those things i've heard you say the part where it's like if i go outside or if i go to the grocery store doesn't that just mean that every time, all the time I've stayed inside is like ruined? Yeah. But it's not because all of that time you've actually been like a hero or something. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, now I'm a different kind of hero. Like you're you're uh, you're protecting other people by protecting yourself, and it's like the in, like the fact that you've stayed four weeks in that thing is like a success that I think most people can't even claim to so you've done a really good part of your job and i think it makes sense to go back when your business you either have to make it like a value call with your job i mean they're basically being like how much do you value your job yeah you know well if, if you like, i don't if I, think it's safe yet then and, yeah then they're like you have to come back to work or not it's like they're basically making you have to make this like kind of troubling decision once you've called once they've called you and told you that you can come back though then you can't get on point anymore too so right. you can't get employment term employment and like what what would happen if you did tell them like i'm not going back 
then are you fired or like well you just don't i just don't have unemployment i don't i know i wouldn't have the unemployment and i wouldn't have work so yeah yeah and i would also be extra stewed you know, Actually, I'm like, what? like stewed. I'm stewing. I'm stewing in this place like a stew. Like I'm like marinating yeah. in a stew in this house, and I've been stewing like harder. I don't know if you saw me yesterday. I was in a pretty good mood. Like I was like joking around on the program, having a good time and stuff. And I was like, finally feeling relaxed. And it was about two hours after that when they're like, "Hey, you're doing this." And I was like, "Oh my god." Oh my. I'm like right back you into it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got the soundboard at least today. Um, no, I'm giving it. I'm giving it another day to to quarantine. Oh my god! What? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter now. Maybe I shouldn't. I, I, yeah. I think, I think. Yeah. What's safer than being in the Daily Hour studio for like four weeks without anyone touching it? You know, it's like. I guess. I guess Paul? I touched it. And Paul, I huh? Yeah. Hey, Paul. Hey, yo. How, How you are you doing? I'm good. I'm gonna try to switch over to my phone because so because I know I'm all. Backlit here. What's yeah. the number? Oh, I see it. Yeah, how are you guys doing? What's going on? I'm good. I'm eating tomato soup. I ate my grilled cheese sandwich already. Having a little uh, raspberry flavored seltzer water. Nice. It's good to see you guys eating on on film again. It's uh, comforting. Yeah, Freddie's eating. I, I, I could eat. Work. Maybe oh. I should eat too. Who yeah. Kenny. What? Really? Uh, they called me. So they called me back to work. Um, they're opening. My place was closed this whole time. Now they're open, and <laughs> this is, uh, oh, bye, Paul. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, joining you. If they, um, just switching over. Uh, yeah, it's like, so if I don't work, then I'm in, now that they're back open, I'm not going to receive unemployment. What? So now I have to go back to work. I feel, I'm feeling a little bit, like, hand tied going back or something, but I'm going to do it, I guess, uh. Are there restaurants? I mean, re- restaurants are open in Canada, right? Um, yeah, but just for takeout. Yeah, this one's just for takeout too. So I'm gonna be doing this takeout thing like everybody, like a lot of other restaurant people. So they've been doing it already. But I, I yeah, so I'm pretty scared to go out because I haven't left the house at all, like even once. Wow. In the last like couple of weeks, it's kind of a bummer, but that's what's going on in my life. So I'm thinking about it. So. I'm going to be doing that on Tuesday, which also means I'm not gonna, probably not going to be live at 5. We're going to be live at like 8 or something. Right. Wow. Uh, so what do you, what, what's your job at the restaurant? You cooking? Yeah. So they're going to, they're, they're promising me safety and stuff, but it's just scary to go out at all. Like I haven't even left the house. I haven't been leaving the house. I haven't gone outside in, in a month. Right. Yeah. I guess you have to decide what the, or I wonder, maybe decide or pay attention to what it does to your, uh, mindset about it because you're gonna like on tuesday you basically can't stay in so does that mean are you gonna get takeout are you gonna like are you still gonna like mitigate your uh oh no i'm just gonna go there and then come right back i'm not taking i'm not going back to the studio we're leaving this thing down here like for a while power. i'm just gonna go right there and come right back and then not leave and then my day's off i'm not gonna do anything so it's like what am i doing anyway i'm just like not what am I? It's like, what are we even li- working for? What are we living f- for the future? You know, or now it's like that's what it kind of feels like. Like, what are we? Yeah. Even, what are what, what, what? What's the point? <laughs> but uh, just trying to live, I guess. It's crazy. I, I mean, that's yeah. A- well, if you have to for money, then I mean, I guess you have to. That sucks. Yeah, I, I kind of have to, I guess, and it's uh, it's crazy. It's crazy time. Yeah, Cause uh, in Can in Canada, they're getting that money. If I got was getting that two thousand, I could definitely not have to do it. Yeah. But we're not getting that down here at all, and. Like, yeah, I know. I feel really lucky too, especially just being like an independent artist. Like, um, like it's not like you have to be in the employment. It's not like you have to be laid off. Just you're an adult. Here's two thousand dollars a month. Yeah, and it's just supplemental too, right? Like, if you're working still. Yeah, you can make um, you can make 
Well, you can make up to a thousand dollars a month. I know I, I only checked in for me. Like as an independent artist, you can make up to a thousand dollars a month on like you know um, like residual checks or doing online stuff, I guess or whatever. Yeah, well, so people who are working like regular hours, but like from home, are not getting it. Yeah, I think if you like, you need to have lost your job or lost a considerable amount of yeah of, uh, income. That's reasonable, but because otherwise yeah. you're just not applying for it. Yeah, it's happening. So that's what I'm. I'm just like thinking that. Like last night, I was up in the air about whether what I was gonna do if I was gonna try to just like quit and 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 because and just like try to struggle and see what happens or what right. so i kind of made the decision that i'm going to go in to, i made the decision today after talking to my, my family and stuff i'm like talking i'm like uh, i'm like uh making what you got there paul joint oh <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna uh, strategically light it out of Oh, okay, that's okay. Though it's it's, it's legal in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, yeah, that's what's, that's, on, uh, that's happening. Oh, James. James is there. Yeah. James. James knows all about that. James, you've been going. James, James has been going to work too. Work, work. Hello, James. Kenny, you're chronicling. You're chronicling an important, um, an chronic, like very important part of the world right now. You know, yeah. like both the staying home, the isolation. Look, James is literally wearing a mask. What? I'm what? at work. Whoa, he's at work. You're on TV. I'm at work. Oh, oh I'm at work. I, yeah. Are you on the clock? I love your mask. Thanks, my friend's mom made it. You're getting paid right now to be on TV. I am. Well, we're done. We're done. I'm walking out. I'm walking out the door. Wow. I'm going back to work, James. Oh, yeah? When? Tuesday. Tuesday? Nice. Are you... Are you excited? Are you scared? You're not scared. James has not been scared this whole time. To go no, back to... No, I have been. That's why I'm not living at home. That's... Yeah, no, I have been taking... I've been going out, but I've been, I have been, you know, cautious. What about working, though? I mean, is it scary to work just to even go to work? What? Your co You see your co-workers and everybody at work? Is that scary? No, I mean, wait, what? Just like being at work, people are going yeah. there, people are going there, and then your co-workers are there, and you're seeing people. Nobody's coming in here. Random people aren't coming in here. Yeah. But like, they're going through the drive-thru. Yeah. And they're there. And, and, and I have gloves and, and a mask on. I'm not that worried. I sanitize between everybody. And then you're, uh, what about your co-workers? Uh, you're not concerned about your co-workers spreading things? No. no. Okay. You want to say hi and be on TV? Hi! Hi! Hello. Starbucks. Wow. Nice. So, what are you guys doing? Well, so far I've just been being a bummer and talking about this uh, scary life situation I'm in. Cause I, I, I've been like, not. I haven't left the house at all. Like, I've, I've went on, like, I went around the block like twice in the last one whole month. And now I'm gonna go to work. So I'm gonna try to acclimate myself today. I'm gonna go on a bike ride. Like after this is done, I'm gonna put on clothes. Like, you know, actual pants, not sweatpants, and <laughs> get on the bike, and I'm gonna go as far as I can, I guess. Nice. And go. I'm gonna try to. Uh, what was that? There's that thing where you're like scared of stuff, you're, like people have phobias that are crazy or something. And then. Yeah. What do you call that? Like aversion, uh, aversion therapy. Is it aversion therapy? Yeah. Aversion. Immersion. Thing. Immersion? Yeah. Aversion would be the opposite. Well, yeah, I think uh, I've been doing your aversion therapy. At it. I yeah. thought it was a ver it's a, oh, I guess they sound similar, but it's like an aversion therapy makes sense to me because then it's like, I'm, I don't like this thing. I have an aversion to this thing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I know aversion therapy is what you're doing. You're avoiding, you're avoiding it already. Your therapy right now is just to not go outside. Oh, but that's not therapy. <laughs> We're switching to another kind of therapy where you're immersed in it. No, it's, well... Uh, what? Okay. I know, uh... Speak to the hands. So I got, so I'm going to do immersion therapy today. I'm going to, I'm going to get on my bike and I'm going to go out and to the world. 
<sighs> it's it's pretty wild, but I'm just like they're gonna be they're not gonna let anybody inside the building, and they're gonna get stuff out through a window and and stuff. So it'll be something. James turned off his uh, sound. Yeah, you, you'll be okay. Yeah, I think it'll be okay, but, but I, I'm just like have. I'm sorry if it's stressful. It sounds stressful. I have crazy dread. Um, but uh, I think I think I'm I, I've I maybe I'm. Like I don't maybe the other people who are doing what I'm doing aren't really going to, aren't aren't being as public or something or being very public, but like everybody else is like I th I feel like I'm doing the most out of anybody I know, as far as not going anywhere at all. Yeah, right. I agree. So I think you are. You're definitely doing the most of anyone I know. I'm like taking it. Who's too, been talking about it? I guess. Too. I've been taking it too far. Maybe. I don't think you've been taking it too far. I told you you're. The hero. <laughs> yeah, but I gotta convince myself yeah. I've been taking it too far so I can get out of the house. Oh yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go to work now. Yeah, I've been taking it too far. <laughs> I gotta get out. Let's let's restart America. <laughs> it's uh yeah, not that though. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of feels like that's what I'm doing though. Yeah. Like. It kind of feels like I'm restarting America. Well, you've been called back to duty. Yeah, I like don't want to duty, do do duty. <laughs> do 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 do. I don't want to do to do. I don't want to duty. <laughs> like, I could, yeah. I understand. It's wild, but I, what do you, what you, what you got? What's your beverage, Paul? Oh, um, this is a drink I made yesterday that I didn't finish. Mm -hmm. Um, so I had, I had three quarters of a. Of a tequila, I guess a tequila sunrise yesterday, mm -hmm. and then there was just a little <sighs> tiny bit. Mm. So I thought I'd just finish Sounds it. Delicious. So it wouldn't be wasteful. Is that know? pineapple? Pineapple yeah. and orange, or yeah. Well, that was like a some like blood orange uh, San Pellegrino with like Didn't I have a tequila. Water? Uh, yeah, but it's it's one of those uh, juice ones. Like now they make juices, so it's a it's a sparkly juice. It's a little thicker than the water, but not as like thick as a juice. Did you uh, <laughs> did you get it to I dream? Hello. Did you get did you get it to uh, to uh, do the whole sunrise thing where you got the different layers and it looks like the sunrise? Me, uh, Paul. I get pictures of the sunrise. You know, like they call it the key of sunrise because like you pour all your ingredients oh, in there and then like they all somehow I, I, like are, are like different densities or something so that it makes it yeah. look like it's like a picture of a sunrise. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I, didn't, I didn't do that. So I think it's just if, if you're not doing that, there's it was just, just like, a tequila. It was just a tequila and juice, I guess. Yeah, tequila and juice, right? Yeah. Have you ever seen the sunrise? I've never seen anybody actually do the sunrise. I think I must have seen it on TV or something. Yeah. I never even clued into it, but you're right. That's what it is. Layers. The layers, because like, that's why they call. That's why it's the name. That's what the name is about. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know where I saw um, that though. I've definitely never where's seen your one. Friend working there. Starbucks. Uh, oh, nice. James, he's there. I don't know. I've bring definitely me, never bring like. Bring me a latte. I've never seen the tequila sunrise. I guess when I go when I was going to the bars, R.I.P. bars. But like, um, nobody was like, if, if you're, if somebody was like, I'll take a, a, a what are you like a martini, you know? They'd be like, what? You want like whiskey or beer? <laughs> you know? Like, what are you going to like the places and they're like, dude, you like a tequila? I want some fancy. At the Voyeur, at the Voyeur, they used to like whenever they would have a drink that like they were not selling enough of a certain. Uh, you know, alcohol, they would like put it on the special. And then I feel like I've seen people get martinis then when they're like on special. Oh, they put the martinis on the things they tell you to order it? Yeah, it's just like on the, it's on the menu. And so you're like, oh, okay. It's the special. It's the yeah. uh, Dory yeah. Margarita. Well, they it's got the like, cheapest. they got vermouth at, at the Voyeur. I think they got everything, right? I guess. What is vermouth? Special like a, liquor, anyway. Like so, or like a cherry or some kind of thing. Hey, Gene. Gene's Hello. on. Hello. Yo, Hello. Gene. Gene, you took your mask down. 
We're walking you, in Brooklyn. You gotta touch your I face to pull your mask down. It's raining a little bit, but not too much. Yeah. Was it like not 9 p.m. or something? Nine yeah. Nine? I think, oh wait, 8.30. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. I'm uh, hustling home, because at 9 o'clock I'm going to watch the first episode of Picard. Hmm. Uh, nice. How far yeah. is that show done yet? I don't know. I'm going to watch the first one with Steve Baker and Robert Bruce. Oh yeah, on the on the Whoa, zoom. I almost died, everyone. I fell. Whoa. I almost fell over. Almost died. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna be riding my bike. Uh, Gene, I they they opened my job. Whoa. So I'm going to back Whoa. to work on Tuesday. I'm scared. Oh yeah. Um, what kind of precautions are gonna be in place for you? They're saying they're gonna do everything they can. So like lots of stuff, but um. Are they gonna put up fun? Plastic shields? Yeah, well, nobody's gonna go inside the building at all. It's gonna be all window passing through a window. Mm-hmm. But Are you uh, doing the passing or just the cooking? I'm doing the cooking only. No, oh, yeah, you're no, good. Not no, the passing. But it's the other people. The other people are doing the passing, and then people. I'm there every day around them. Yeah, but beware the other people because they're the ones yeah, you don't suspect. True. But they're the ones who have their guard down. And who are out in the world every day, so they get looser. So yeah, they're true. like they're, I'm like not even going out at all. But I was, I was thinking, you no, fall I down. Know. Like, what if I if I was, I'm gonna ride my bike and I fall down, like you know, like yeah. a little bit, then I'm contaminated. But it's gonna be your coworkers that give it to you. They oh. They're so clever. Yeah. Yeah. But they won't do it on purpose, but. That's what I, I know. I know that. It's like. That's yeah, what I'm, it doesn't really matter how careful you are if you if you <laughs> come in contact with someone at work that has it. Uh, but well, anyways, I, that's that's all. That you, Kenny, you know, you've already you've already made it past Washington's peak. Like you are uh, you are you made it. Like you actually stayed home in the most important time to stay home. I know that it's like everyone should kill, keep doing as much as they can, but like. You know, this is, this is a little lower stakes than it was like a week or two ago. They don't even see me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's happening? But uh, where, where are you? Are you in Brooklyn, Gene? Yeah. Uh, at the south end of Prospect Park, but I'm going Brooklyn to Zoo. further south. Maybe into Kensington, or something like that. You know, you know that song "Brooklyn Zoo" by Wu Tang, but Wu Tang's not from Brooklyn, though, right? Maybe some of them are. Uh, so look, they're pretty houses. Yeah, you can't really oh, look. Ooh. It's dark, but... It's, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll show you my favorite house when we come across the table. Walk. Yeah. Oh, Where's I the... mean, this is a pretty cool visit, like, that you get to see on TV your friend in Brooklyn and walking. Brooklyn! Brooklyn, New York! Yeah. And I'm walking here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoop. And then, where are you? Balconies hey. in Vancouver. Yeah. So I was in a high rise. Hey. All, all mixed. We get to bounce all around the world. Yeah, yeah. Paul, can see the ocean. Is that the ocean? Or what is that? Yeah. That, water, that, that water? Pacific Ocean. Oh, I never, I never showed you the coolest bit. Oh. Uh, can I turn? Can I turn this around? Uh, we'll see. Turn it around. Um, There's look, the gas station, the tiny little gas. Can you see? Oh, uh, that's a gas station, a floating gas station. Anyways, for boats? I, yeah, it's for boats. Is it for boating? I thought that would have been a cooler thing, but I couldn't get in there. So you can't <laughs> see how cute, cute it is. It's, it's just for, like a cute floating gas station. It's for boating. What is foreboding? Yeah, it's foreboding. So, yeah. That's what. Well, that's when foreboding is when something is scary or something. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah, foreboding. When, when foreboding. would you? When would you? Ever, <laughs> when would you ever say foreboding though? It's like I'm gonna go. Like I know what it means, but when would uh, you? That building is. Foreboding. Quite like, foreboding. Yeah, you go by like a haunted <laughs> house. Or yeah. something like or like a abandoned looking house, and there's like scary stuff, and you're like, oh, it's a foreboding building, yeah. And you say that building is for boating. 
And we say, we're in the middle of the, the land. Are there, uh, is there these, oh, hello? are there any of these, uh, liberty, uh, quote unquote, uh, liberty dumb protests in, in Oh, your, yeah. Your yes, town? yes. There, I live, I live only blocks from the Capitol building in the Capitol, Washington State. Uh, sorry, all my shit fell out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. You right, you're sorry? <laughs> you're fine. So, um. That's hilarious. Love you guys. So, I think it's Jackson at work. Last Sunday, they were all up in my neighborhood, and it was really crazy. I guess there was like thousands of people at the Capitol building, which I had to go by the Capitol building to get to my work, which is pretty scary too. Because my, my job is only like four blocks away from where I am, but it's still scary to go there. But uh, so now I'm gonna go by the Capitol building. Hopefully, they don't have any more protests. Because if there is if there is one, I'm not gonna I'm just gonna call out or something. But um. Uh, they they were they wanted to fish. They're like everybody. They took their big fishing boats, and they were like, uh, they like put them on their trucks and and drove them here from wherever, Eastern Washington or something. And they're like, oh, let me fish. I want my freedom to fish. So, and they're honking. It's like, shut up, what are you doing? Get out of here. They were like loud. Right. It was crazy. Uh, they want haircuts. Yeah, I, get, yeah uh, I get people being frustrated, but it's so d dumb, these dumb moron protests. <laughs> yeah. Is there any in Canada? They're probably not, right? No, there is. There's like there was one in Vancouver yesterday, but there's like twelve people and they're just being idiots and the, the cops have to the cops have to protect them. They're just yelling at people. Yeah. I don't know. It's just so it's just so dumb. They want attention. Uh, I kinda of feel like it's uh, I'm by going back to work at all that I'm like supporting it. But I don't know, what else to do? Uh, but, uh, they might come buy your sandwiches. Yeah. That would be bad. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, like, they're still gonna, bu they're gonna buy stuff, right? The people who are doing that, like, not, they're not, like, taking, doing anything, taking any precautions at all, are still coming to buy stuff, you know? It's like, you don't know who it is. Um, but, Does uh... Does your work do a lot of, de um, delivery? Right now? It's gonna be pickup, I think. I'm not sure. This time, that's why I'm gonna go in there and like and see how it is. And if it's like seems like it's like crazy, I, I don't think I'm gonna, not gonna go back. But I don't think it'll be too crazy, I guess. Uh, I'm scared to even go once. So I haven't even walked outside my house. But uh, we were talking about the boats and their boating and stuff. And why, they, why they're boating in the in the bringing their boats around, yelling. They want haircuts. They're like, cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I saw someone saying that, like, I want haircuts. Is that an actual thing that people are wanting? Yeah. Yeah. That's ridiculous. They want yeah. they want other people. It's not that they want to work. They want the haircut people to come back. Yeah. They're just like, oh, my God, my hair is getting long. It's like in my face. Oh, my God, my roots. Oh, my God. That's but, it. Yeah. I don't care who dies. <laughs> I want my hair. My long guy. Yeah, they want their hair done. Uh, pretty awful. How stupid is that? And then like, like, oh my god, I need to get my hair cut. Fuck everybody else. A lot of them had they 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 had like, um, like white power iconography. <laughs> so it's like, is that like you got to choose a cause? <laughs> you know, like. Yeah, you're mixing messages quite a bit there. Like, Let's go back to work. Also, power. Like, what is it? Like, yeah. you're, like your Freddie, your dad is is in support of going back to work or whatever, right? Is is he taking yeah, as far as going to the rallies? All kinds of, he thinks. I mean, I haven't read. He, he, send, he keeps sending me all of these. Uh, sending me articles every day. He doesn't send me anything about it. He just like sends me an article. Like, I don't know if he's. But he's like a scientist, right? What's that? He's like a scientist in a way. He's a biologist, but I don't oh, know. He's a biologist. That's like, right? At... <laughs> he's a biologist. Yeah, 
He's like an <laughs> animal biologist, you know? Yeah. But like, for bats? What are, you're like, Dad, yeah. those people are, are also the white power people, you know? Like, can you really yeah. get in on any cause that the white power people are also in on? <laughs> it seems like yeah, that would... definitely avoid those. It seems like they that would... They want to be as wrong as they possibly can be. Yeah, it seems yeah. like that would, like, if you're like, oh, anything... Like, once you see that, you're like, oh, what are you into? Oh, that? Oh, maybe I should <laughs> stay away from that then, you know? Like, if you got the signs out, it's like, who's gonna... Who's gonna join in? And also, like, it seems like, really, if you want to end the the, the lock or you know, lockdown or whatever they're calling it, that you should put down your. You need to. You need who you can get. You know, <laughs> like. Sure. Yeah. Don't be flying Confederate flag or like saying provocative political statements. It's like, who? How do they think they're gonna motivate, especially people in? Uh, in power, like, they're like, they're like, we're angry. It's like you guys are awful. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But are, okay. do they think that like the mayors and the everyone like running the city doesn't want everyone wants the city to go back to normal? Like everyone's yeah. losing crazy money. Everyone's like it's bad for everyone. So don't you think that? that, uh, I don't know, the experts are trying their best to minimize this as most as, as most as possible. Yeah. yeah. They're, like, throwing, they're throwing around the word, uh, I actually, like, archived all my dad's emails, uh, but he, they're, like, throwing around the word fascist, which is really funny. Uh, they're trying ooh. to reframe it and take that word, which has been used kind of against, like, the authoritarian right for a while. Right. And now they're saying that, like, this... Uh, stay at home order and all of these things are fascist because of yeah they're just like flipping the flipping it the same thing but I never like uh, those protests I don't I, I'm always like don't think yeah, that they're doing that much like the protests even when they were people who were not you know authoritarian like crazy even before like no matter what no matter what your cause is I don't think I think that yelling and getting in a crowd and yelling is a '60s tactic, and that if you want to, you know, like we're it's like not going to do anything anymore. So, um, but what? Are, so what are the tactics of today? Memes. Yeah. <laughs> videos, YouTube videos. Uh, uh, that's not my. I guess it's not my my place to find the new tactics. Just to criticize the old ones. <laughs> like, <laughs> You gotta find your own new ones. Here's a message from Yellowfellow. Okay. You hear that? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have the mixer, I guess, tomorrow. I could have got it today. I, I guess I like. Yeah, I didn't set it up. I've been stressed. <laughs> Yeah, somebody's talking to you, Gene? Uh, talking on the phone. Talking on the phone. Oh. Yep. I just walked through. I'm gonna be leaving my phone at home when I go to work. I'm gonna, like, be trying to be minimal or something. Not touch my whole head the entire time. I guess I gotta eat while I'm there. Please leave your message for... I hope you don't get an lunch. Yeah. Uh, hey, all folks, program being called back. You have about uh, 20 minutes. Okay, bye. Hope I don't get what? I have a... Itchy. I hope you don't get itchy. Yeah, yeah. I have a new plan where I open doors with my left hand instead of trying to open them, like, with my jacket over my hand or something, because then I'm always wondering, oh, well, I use that piece of cloth to open the thing, but I also use it to wipe my nose because I'm trying not to wipe my nose with my hands. So now it's left hand will open doors, and then right hand will deal with the keys. Yeah. So maybe you could have a system like that at work. Uh. You itch, itch your face with your right hand and make sandwiches with your left. Yeah, <laughs> no. it takes two hands, Don't huh? Touch your face. <laughs> I oh, think that man. touching your face is, is old old timey. No one's gonna be touching their face anymore. 
Yeah. Yeah. You can touch your face so. when you're in the shower. That's it. Uh, you gotta like wash the inside of my nose and stuff. Yeah, you know, one day oh, we'll see it on TV and it'll look like people are smoking on airplanes. You know? Oh, yeah. like, oh my god! <laughs> They're touching their face on an airplane. I saw. I saw like. Uh, yeah, I'm, call, I'm calling my grandma. Okay. Hi, Kenny. Hi, grandma. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm okay. I don't know. If this is everybody here or not? Probably there. Yeah? I don't know. I'm going to check, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Andrew's there. Nope. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi, Andrew. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, they called me. I'm going to go back to work on Tuesday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared to go. <laughs> you think I should be scared? No. My family has told me not to be scared. So, they're like, everybody in my whole family, so... You're not scared? You, you, you've been going to restaurants and stuff, to fast food restaurants, you're not scared of them? No. Alright. I just gotta get over it. I don't know, I, 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 I didn't think I'd be scared, but I'm very scared. I don't know what, what happened. Why am, uh, I, why am I so scared? Like, a nurse. If I wait, I don't know. Is it, I don't know if it's new. I feel like I was not nervous. I was worried about germs. Especially about germs, I was like not worried. And now I'm just like so worried. It's like, they're just like, stay safe, stay safe, stay home. That whole message is just like, anywhere other than home is not safe. Not safe, not safe. Like, you know? No. No, yeah. All right, what are you doing? You're crazy. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's what I want to hear because I'm trying to get over this. I'm trying to go outside. Get over yeah, it. Go outside. Oh. All right. That's okay, good. bye. Oh, bye, okay. Uh, just kidding, I don't uh, care. What are you doing? Go outside. Huh? You go outside. Yeah, I'm no, gonna no, go. Don't go outside, you should stay inside. <laughs> uh, I'm going outside today, I'm gonna start a version there, or what's it called? Not a version, um. Immersion! <laughs> Immersion therapy. Yeah. Today I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go on a long bike ride after this program is over. Ooh. Why are you supposed to not go out? I just haven't gone. I haven't left the house like even a little bit. I've only oh I went on like two walks in the last month, and, and they're Whoa. very short. So today I'm gonna go on a bike ride. I'm gonna go all the way down to where I'm gonna be working, and then I'm gonna at least go that far, maybe farther, and tell myself that it's okay. Oh. It's not okay though. It's not? No. W well, what should I do then? I don't know. <laughs> Jean's walking around the neighborhood. <laughs> and you've been going she's to work. Up, she's you opening the doors with her left hand though. Andrew's been going to work the whole time. Okay, good luck. <laughs> what, about your, what about your co-workers? You're not worried about them, Andrew? No. All right. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. He's not worried. Well, he's not worried. <sighs> I, like they were still open. And I like had to kind of freak out last time I was at at the place. Like when I, last time I left, and then I whoa, look at that. They got food outside and stuff, huh? Whoa. Yep. What store is that? Uh, that. I oh, it's like know. a bodega oh, kind of thing? APNA, Coney Island Ave, Supermarket. I'll mm. show you my favorite bodega where I like to get orange <laughs> soup. Coney Island! Big trucks. Nice. 
Nice. Ooh, Bodega. Yeah, let's get a snack. Yeah. Hey, guys, it's on me. What do you guys want? <laughs> I don't know. I want a snack, but I just ate my lunch, so I'm, I'm like snacky, but I'm not hungry. I guess maybe like a cookie. Ooh, cookie. Maybe bag of chips. Maybe spicy bag of chips, like a hockey. Mmm. Spicy chips. Yeah, I I'd should... like some oranges. They're three for a dollar, these little oranges. You can what? get both cara cara or cara cara, we don't know. And then regular little bitty oranges that are so good. God, I love oranges. I know. So, so juicy, so sweet. What's going on in, in the beeping? No fun. You got a Dodger truck you're going to get backed into? I don't think so. They say they're waste solutions, not creating any new waste by running me over. Well, there's a gar pile of garbage. That's New York stuff, right? Uh -huh. Look I'm at that walking here. Hey, yo, I'm walking here. Look at look at that pile of garbage. Grapes. I've been thinking about those grapes for days now. I might get them. And then I almost I also think about this Pakistani restaurant, but the line was too long when I was really hungry a couple nights ago. Yeah, so like even in New York City, people are out doing things like living a life, kind of honk for the yeah, most part. Life's back to normal. People are honking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, is that really all street chicken? sound? It sounds like sound effect machine. Ooh, pizza. No. Mm, I want pizza. Yeah. Ooh, but it's New York pizza. Yeah. Is and that the best? Yep. The best pizza in New York. When I, I went to New York. So. They all said it was the best pizza. Like, best uh, yeah. yeah, every single place. Oh, best yeah. pizza in New York. So, oh, in the future, oh, do we know what it is? Famous Ray. Right. Right. And then, then also, like, right. Halloween apples. Tomorrow, okay. Halloween apples. What is this for Halloween apples. Halloween apples. All right, bye, future. I'm looking at the last um, the message from yesterday. I'm going to do a new one. Could you hear that? Halloween no. apples. Yeah, Halloween apples. Um, oh, Halloween apples. All right, I'm moving this down. We're going to record no, messages no, no, of the future. No, 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 no. Halloween, Halloween apples. All right, that was yesterday, though, so we don't want to talk about Halloween apples when we talk, when we're doing a new message. Oh, that's enough of that. No more Halloween apples. So we're going, to new, we're going to do a new message. It's got to be different from yesterday. Otherwise, people are going to think I'm just the here. They're going to say, hey, right. you're just recording those day after day. You're not doing those next day. You know? Yeah. Let's so, get Rick back to work. I need that's some proof. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, yeah. Here's my favorite one right here. Oh. Ooh. What is it? An apple? Many oranges. Well, here's. Oh, they got big oranges. Uh oh, all the little oh. oranges. Come on. They need grapes. Gene, your yeah. uh, video turned off for some reason. Oh, I have a low battery. Uh oh. oh I'm going to fail. I'm just. Gotta get Gene on the message house. of the future. Oh, yeah. Well, here I go. I'm recording the message of the future, right? Hey, future, it's us, the past. Hi. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself while you can. Enjoy yourself while you can. I'm going to go back to work. It's Paul Anthony and Gene and Freddie. Hey, everybody. James um, was at work. Good future. We made it past probably the very worst. Everyone needs to stay careful, but, you know, I think it's okay that you're going to go back to work. I think it's okay. All right, bye, you. Am I alive, future? Did I die? Okay, bye. I hope we don't have to play oh, that. Oh, I should have told the future I installed my bidet today. Oh, oh bad it, huh? Bidet day. It's bidet day <laughs> in the Frederick household. Bidet day. How is it? Uh, I haven't used it yet. I actually just finished installing it right at 5 o'clock, so I figured I need to get some food and uh, <laughs> yeah. put food in and then uh, yeah. blast some food out. Exactly. <laughs> How do you wow. have you used the before? I think, it's, I think before? it's the same one that Cedar had at his house. I'm pretty oh sure. Gosh. Where does it connect to in the water? Like inside the toilet somehow? No, no, on the outside. See, this thing goes. This thing out here connects to like the wall, and it has it has a little like T, like a little T splitter. On the uh, I want to get one. You should. It's great. Well, I mean, I haven't used this one yet. But yeah. I figured, the only issue is going to be like water uh, pressure, but you can adjust that basically at the main water line to the toilet. So, so you you what like about the water temperature? What about the water temperature? Yeah, uh, they say it nice it's a refreshing, hot, just refreshing ambient <laughs> temperature. There's no temperature adjustment. It's just like from the cold. Well, 
You say cold water, but sounds it's really like, like it could be cold. Neutral water. You know, ambient. Yeah. Yeah. Freezing and cold. It's Today refreshing. Wake you up from the butthole. <laughs> it's <laughs> a- ambient and cold. refreshing. It is refreshing. That's why you want to say stuff and you're like, this is really right. cold. And you say, what, is it refreshing now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and how long does it go it. on? As long as you want. Okay, you have the tool. Yeah, is, yeah. That, is that the one whose uh, his slogan is cold from the butthole to the soul? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it sounds like you should get into the bidet business. Okay, okay good. I was well, saying we I, should I definitely hear, like, uh, do call it for the American version, not bidet, B-I-D-E-T, but like B-U-H-D-A-Y, bidet, you know? Oh, bidet, yeah, yeah. Instead of like, bidet. Buddy. I was buddy. I was calling it a bat a bat it. A bat it. Also, I don't like the word yeah. though. Yeah. But then you can say, then you can say, oh, uh, you know who uh, cleaned my butt? My buddy. Yeah, my, my buddy. buddy. Bad, oh, bu- oh, bidet, my buddy. Oh, it's like bad day, so buddy. Easy. Yeah. Bidet. I, I got this buddy, and he buddy. just oh, cleans my, my butt ass all the time. <laughs> He's a great buddy. Good buddy. I heard that toilet paper is getting back on the shelves a little bit more than before now. So. Uh, I was never worried. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't never heard of toilet paper. I never heard of anybody being like having a big problem running it out, but uh, yeah. Um, hey, Gene, you got somewhere. Where are you? You got back home? I'm plugged. I can't hear anyone. What the heck is going on? Uh, who's talking? Nobody's talking. We can hear you, but you're frozen a little bit. Did you have time to wash your hands for you? at least 20 seconds? <laughs> yeah, did you wash your hands uh, for, for real, though? You gotta wash your hands first. Grub, you gotta get that thumb. You gotta get in there. Um, Kenny. Yes. TCTV is doing a, uh, a... Um, contest. Oh, video yeah, what is it? Um, basically, you got to make like a two or three minute video, and you could. I don't know what you win, though. Maybe there's no winning. I don't know. Maybe, but, uh, maybe I think it is a contest, but I don't know what you win. Um, it's, it's still a contest? Like, you got to make a home at home. You got to uh, make a short video and submit it to the TC Media Home Media Challenge. And they're gonna put them all on there. I wonder what you win. Oh no! Everyone who submits get a gets a pen and a thumb drive. So <laughs> yeah, how are they gonna give it to me? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> mail. Maybe mail. Maybe, mail takes a while. You can pick it up like after everything is done, but I don't know. That's something. And then Olympic Rentals, the place that also the rents to us, is also doing some kind of competition. Now there's like. It's contest time. They're like, oh, it's time. Like, we've been at it's, home all this time. Every, now everyone's doing contest. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying we to tr- win. spice it up a little bit. They're staying at home for everything. Yeah. Uh, Crazy. Yeah, it's about time. That's what I thought. People are, are no, they're going to start to relax right now, and then it's going to that's going to come come down on everybody and that's kind of what's happening to me I feel like I'm now I'm not I guess I'm for I'm like forced relaxing a little bit so uh yeah and it's gonna come down on me but uh on the world what a world what a world I was feeling yesterday I was watching I was feeling pretty relaxed I was goofing around a lot more and now I'm like right back into it um but the the program the the production is going, Freddie. I saw the 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 first baseball episode on TCTV. Oh yeah, I watched that too. That was it looked good. Yeah, it looked fine. But I uh, it's gonna be just like much like today where I'm just like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> like, hey, you want to see somebody else panic for an hour like you are all the time? Well, watch this. This is the most panic person you'll ever see. Yeah. Isn't this That's- isn't this good TV? Isn't this fun on TV? But it's 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 what I'm doing. It'll, it's it's like three basically uh, three weeks of or like two weeks of panic and then you start to settle in and now it's begun again. Yeah, back to panic. Um, yeah. I went. Yeah, we got got everything turned in. We're scheduled out like really far. 
Um, for, oh, but you know what? I was meaning to mention this in the production end. Did I say this yesterday? YouTube uh, YouTube has now switched over exclusively to their, <laughs> their new creator studio. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I, I somehow got around it on this computer. It was telling me that, and then I did something so that it let me still use it. Really? Like, oh. there's like... It says, like, you can't use this, but then, like, somewhere, like, in the options or whatever, there's, like, classic mode or something. Even yesterday? Because yesterday was when I, re they, like, they announced that they had stopped the old one or something. I think it was yesterday, because, like, the, what, the, today is, um... The 23rd. 23rd was, was, uh, or Thursday, though, right? Yeah, when yeah, was, Thursday. was Wednesday is, or Tuesday's episode is on YouTube, though, right? Yeah. So I think that I remember seeing that that thing and I was like, oh crap! And then I had to like close Chrome and then reopen it and it's still doing it. And I did something and I got around it somehow. Oh cool, okay. Like I don't. I I got tricked into thinking I had to use it and it's working okay for what because my main my main beef was that it was made it, it was very difficult for you to download consecutive episodes. You know, yeah. The YouTube well, I think it pretty much like, doesn't work on the on this old computer. It doesn't work at all. You have to use classic mode. Yeah. That's why they're trying to get rid of it. So, but they let me do it. I think. Uh, I guess we'll see. But I, I do remember that doing that yesterday, having to do something to mess around with it. I also got the operating system on that Big Mac. Whoa! Really? Yeah, I got it to work. So, um, and I, I, what I'm trying now, I'm, I'm testing out live streaming capability on it so we could like stream to like we probably could use it to do what you're doing now easily but uh i'm thinking for the future we could live stream the actual program feed immediately so i'm working on figuring out how to get that yeah we could do paul anthony style where we put the monitor just like here like and then it's like they're in the same shot instead yeah, of two shots so true. that's kind of how it looks uh when you do it on the show but um yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. You just have like your TV. That's just like your home TV that you had that thing plugged into. On yeah. on uh, that's quarantinement. When's the next? Uh, yeah. When's the next? Two weeks. Uh, two weeks from today. Is today Thursday or is today? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Two weeks from today, the seventh, May seventh. <laughs> go watch that, viewers. Go check out Talent Time TV. It's a good show. Yeah. yeah, on YouTube, Talent Time TV, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, May 7. We're getting down to it. We only have about three minutes left. All right. I'm going to have to say goodbye because I'm going to go meet friends for the first time in uh, a long time. What do you mean? You Other gonna... than, of course, on the program. From distance? Uh, yeah, Steven. <laughs> uh, or on, or on, uh, on the online. Yeah. So, She's gonna meet him in person. And we're gonna watch that thing. All right, yeah. say hi, say hi to them for pass. the program and me, yeah. Gene. Okay, I'll tell them. I will tell them about uh, the, the Zoom. Yeah, we're going. And we're not gonna be next. Maybe you'll see him next time. Starting next week, we're gonna be safe. live at like eight, maybe or something. What's what if we happen? can come up with another rhyme for the new time? Yeah, that's pretty much the only reason why I'm sticking with this five well, thing right now. Was... Anyway. Well, fuck that. I'm. Not... It's too late for you, Gene, huh? You're gonna, I'm gonna miss you. Oh, Aww. so sad. Yeah, well, we could maybe do early in the morning. Before I go to work, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's gonna be. Do it from Bye. work, and then we can watch you get COVID in real life, real time. Bye, Gene. Stay safe. Bye, Gene. I know. If if I what if I if I actually if I do get it, which is probably you know, and then um, then what? I'm gonna like take the program gear into my bedroom or maybe we could do zoom like you could just we could just only do zoom and you could record it yeah and then i'm like uh, i'm right dying over here because i like i mean yeah. so i've been in the house for i guess a whole month which is like four weeks but if you get it you got to stay down for like two weeks at least or maybe longer yeah and like even more down because like i can't even leave my room at that point or something right you gotta protect your housemates at that point, but they're probably gonna get it if you get it. Yep. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but hey, if you don't get it, they're not gonna get it. 
That's true. Good point. I, I don't mean to scared add scared away that. Well, I'm scared as hell, and the show's almost over. Thanks, uh, Grandma and Andrew and Yellowfellow for the message, and Gene and James and James's co-worker, and Freddie and Paul, Sorry thank you. Corporation in general. Yeah, uh, uh, good seeing you. Everybody, stay safe until we meet again. And we're gonna be we're gonna be live at five still for five at five until Tuesday. Tuesday, right? and then we'll see what's going on on Tuesday. Maybe it's good. I don't know what's gonna happen on Tuesday. So we're gonna be live at five oh, until no. Tuesday, and then I'm gonna be going outside. So after this, I'm gonna get on my bike. Uh, I'm gonna do, do the computer thing. I'm gonna get on my bike, and I'm gonna bike for miles. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm do inversion myself. Immersion. Immersion. Immersion treatment. <laughs> immersion. Im immersion Immerse. therapy. Immersive. I'm going to be immersed Immerse. in the world. I got a mask, though. Uh, uh, China made a mask. We had a cloth, so custom mask. I'm going to be a uh, new style. That's the new style. That's the new world. So there it is. Here's a credit. Thanks, everybody. Bye. That's it. Bye. You too. Later, guys.